Hey, welcome aboard. This is seventh grade Laker art with uh, Mr. Sterner. And we are going to be working on how to do a value scale and how to create a cylinder with shading. So uh, in reality, we're going to be working on how to shade a cylinder and um, the steps that go to making it. So two dots, uh, a frown face, then we connect it with a smiley face, and then we draw the sides that go down, and then we finish it by doing a smiley face on the bottom. So um, this is in conjunction with our lesson that was of where we did the um, the hay bales with uh, Cezanne and Mr. Dudgeon. So what I'm going to start out with here is I am going to make um, a chart on my paper. And I'm going to start with a square in the center that I call hue. And that is going to be my color straight up. Then I'm going to make two squares where I've got tint one and tint two. Then over here, I'm going to have shade one and shade two. Now, so I'm going to take a color. I'm going to start with red. Red is my color. I'm going to move this forward so you can see it better. So I'm going to put the color straight up, and I should have wiped that before I used it. So I'm going to grab a paper towel. I'm going to wipe this off, make sure it's clean. And then I'm going to rub my red, and I'm going to fill in my area. Now, if I get something like that again, I could take a tool like this pencil sharpener and I should be able to scrape off a majority of the blue. And then when I go over it again, it won't be as dark. Now, with tint, I'm going to add white. So I'm going to go one part white here. Okay, so I'm going to take my white and I'm going to put white and I'm going to go one direction first, then I'm going to cross hatch it. Then I'm going to go over to tint two and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go vertical, then I'm going to cross hatch it with horizontal. I can take my brush and brush off the nurgles. Now, this one here is tint one, so I'm going to take and lightly put my red over the top. Now I'm going to take my white and I'm going to go over that, and that creates my first tint. Now, if that wasn't dark enough and I want it darker, I will come back to that. And remember, you can always pause the video here uh, if it's not working out the way you want. So I'm going to wrap a paper towel around my finger. And then I'm going to blend this color and go in a circular motion, filling in. And then that residue is going to go on to tint number two. And I could add white and make it really light like that, or I could leave it that tint. And I would say that that's pretty dark, but I could go and add a little bit more of the red. And I'm not going to go the whole way. And I can create four. So look at that. I got tint one, tint two, tint three, tint four. Um, and yeah, and that's almost white. So that's how I create my tints. So usually this one is two whites. White one and another white. So it's two parts white minimum. And then... For tint one, it's one part white. So it's a 50-50 mix between those two. Now, black, normally if we went black with uh, or our shade with black, we're going to get a color that's as dark as this orange right here. But black is the absence of color. And when we have the absence of color, what that means is, or absence of light, excuse me, we don't see any 
we lose 